A lot of people ask me, what is it like to live in Israel? In this video, I will tell you just that. In this video, I'm going to go over a bunch of different things, but mostly I'm going to talk about, you know, what is it like moving from the Western world to the Middle Eastern world in, as in Israel. Israel is probably the best place to move to in the Middle East when it comes to if you're from, you know, Western world in general, like, you know, the Europe or North America or whatnot, but it is, it is definitely different. The people here are much more family oriented, which I really, really appreciate. Every Friday night, they shut down everything. And Friday night through Saturday uh, sunset, they have Shabbat. And Shabbat is like a Jewish holiday, kind of every, it's like the Sabbath. So every, I think it's like the Sabbath. So every, every, um, every weekend they have this, this thing where they, you know, it's, they recognize, you know, it's like their Sunday, their church day, whatever. Everybody gets together, they have a big meal, they all hang out. It's like super great because their community from their family is like really well and tight knit. And it just, you can just see how, how close, how much closer people are here together, how more com how much more comfortable they are around their friends and family. They are very cautious around, you know, strangers and new people because of recent events between you know, the West Bank and Palestine and, and Israel, but it is definitely, definitely a super big plus. I, I wish we had uh, Shabbat like in the United States, not even for religious reasons, just for the communal aspect of it. And then another big thing that's different between living in the USA and in Israel, what it is like to live out here is the, it's definitely a lot warmer. Um, the further north you go, the colder it gets, but I mean, it only takes like five or six hours to drive up north and the weather differences, it's drastically different. Down here, it's it's a lot a lot, um, a lot warmer down the Negev Desert. So it's, I mean, right now I'm wearing a jacket and whatnot. It is a little cold outside, but you know, I just went on a run in shorts and a t-shirt earlier and I was completely comfortable, you know, right at sunset. Um, if you are just walking around, you might want to wear long sleeves maybe a jacket and some pants, but it is much warmer than the winters back home in northern northern Illinois and the United States. And then um, the food, the food's really good. They don't, I don't think they have as much GMO out here. So the food is, uh, I think, higher quality than a lot in the States unless you go to organic store. The gas is more expensive, but I don't have a vehicle unless I'm renting. Um, and so that's, that's nice that, uh, well, I don't have to pay gas, but the gas, it's kind of annoying that it is pretty expensive out here. I think it's around two or three dollars a liter, which I think there's two or three liters in a gallon. So it's anywhere from four to six dollars, probably a gallon and about two US dollars per liter, six, six or seven shekels, I want to say. Um, they don't have Walmarts, they don't have as big a variety of food and, you know, shopping stuff. So I really appreciate here, I think, I might be wrong, but I think they're not as materialistic as people in the States. In the States, people have so much stuff. Now here, I don't think they have as much stuff. You don't do this, you know, whatever, how much, however wealthy you are. I think people care more about community and conversation and people than I think they do possessions and traveling. Traveling is super big. A lot of people from here are big on traveling. It's kind of like uh, the thing to do after you get out of the army or after you get, after you get out of high school and whatnot. All right, well, that's been what is it like to live in Israel. I hope you, hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, please like and comment below if you have any questions or comments. And then if you want to see more videos like this, just subscribe and I upload three times a week. Um, and I'll be doing a lot more how to's and whatnot on, you know, traveling. And I'll be doing my video vlogs, my vlogs here pretty soon, getting a few in every now and then. But once I'm traveling full time for next the rest of this year, it'll be it'll be vlogs after vlogs after vlogs. So alright, peace out guys. Take care.